Yeah! All right, this next comedian coming up, guys. Presidential name, he's a storyteller. You're gonna enjoy him a lot. Give it up for Franklin Cox. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Hold on a sec. It's important to make sure the mic level is right. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> just checking, just checking. Tech, technical uh, check there. All right, folks. I'm Franklin Vincent Cox, and um, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a little story. Um, so it goes like this. Oh, yes. <laughs> Howdy, everybody. My name's Everett. And down here on this pecan farm, Waycross, Georgia, I'm so hungry. I've had it up to here with nuts. I've been working all day. It's harvest season down here. And I'm so hungry that I'm craving something I've never had before. And that is the wide mouth frog. So I start cruising out on my hunt for the wide mouth frog. <laughs> So I'll make it out past the barn and just nearly clear it. Then I look over in the entrance of the barn. I see my old cat, Rutherford. I can hear him loud and clear. <laughs> hey, Rutherford. How's it going? Hello, Everett. What brings you out here today? Well, I'm hungry. And I'm looking for the wide mouth frog. <laughs> well, I'm stuffed. I had a few brown thrashes earlier. <laughs> well, I'm on my way, so I go on my way. So I make it out to the edge of the property. I see my old horse, Cherry. I go, hey, hey, Cherry. Oh, uh, howdy, Everett. Uh, well, what brings you out to the edge of the property? Well, I'm hungry and I'm looking for the wide mouth frog. What's that? Yeah, wide mouth? Uh, I haven't seen a wide mouth in a, in a long time. Uh, well, that's how hungry I am. Well, you, you better get moving, uh, Everett. Uh, yeah, well, so I start moving. <laughs> So I get over, over to the Johnson property. I'm just about to enter the swamp. I'm about 25 city blocks. It's just my next door neighbor. We don't get along with the Johnsons. But I look over, I see an old codger on the edge of the swamp, and I walk up to him and I go, hey, Billy Bob, I'm on the hunt for the wide mouth frog, and I was curious if you wanted to join me. I could use some company. Mm-hmm, I reckon. So the two of us enter the swamp. So I entered the swamp and now it's getting a little cold. The sun's going down, it's getting darker. I hear rustling above us. <laughs> That's gotta be my friend Clarence. So I go, Clarence, is that you? Good guess. <laughs> well, hey, bro. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, What's going on? Come to the chase. Why are you in the swamp? <laughs> well, I'm hungry, and I'm looking for the wide mouth frog. <laughs> Haven't seen a one. <laughs> Haven't seen a one. <laughs> well, we better be going on our way. Do you have any ideas where to go? <laughs> Try the swamp. Try the swamp. <laughs> and we're on our way. So we go moving on our way. <laughs> So it's pitch black, and all of a sudden this huge light comes out, and I turn to Billy Bob, and I go, what's that? He goes, mmm. And, and the light all of a sudden goes, It's a spaceship. 
and the front, <laughs> and the front door opens up. This little robot wheels his way down. I go, R2, we're looking for the wide mouth frog. We could use your flashlight. So we get moving with this flashlight. Mm -hmm. and we get down deeper in the swamp where I think I know where that wide mouth frog is. So we're turning over stones here and there, turning over stones. And all of a sudden, Billy Bob jumps out of his overalls and goes, there's one of them fellas right there. And I go, yeah. And we find him and his back is to us. <laughs> Howdy, you two and three robot makes three. What brings y'all into the swamp here? Well, I'm hungry. Oh, yeah? Well, you look familiar. So do you, frog. I'm hungry and I'm looking for the wide mouth frog. Oh, is that so? Well, I ain't seen no wide mouth frog, <laughs> but my uncle said he's seen one a long time ago. That reminds me. My uncle once told me a told me a story about Vietnam one time. Men. That was our last supply chopper. We're surrounded in this foxhole all night long. We better dig in and dig in deep. Now, Sergeant Hartman is going to teach us a few ways to survive in the NAM over this, this night. Take it away, Sergeant. <laughs> Howdy, boys. Welcome to the NAM. I'm Sergeant Phil Hartman. Now, remember the first time you stepped on an anthill? <laughs> Well, that's exactly what we did to these fine little friends called Charlie. Now they're pissed. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot, everybody. I'm Franklin Vincent Cox. That was amazing. We have a thousand voices and sounds. That was kind of cool, man. Give it up again. Franklin Vincent Cox. That was great. I wish I could make those kind of sounds in my face. <laughs> <laughs>